To me, it was just kind of real exciting the whole time. I didn't really care how long I was there. What age were you there? there? I, I was 14. 14, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but you were kind of, it was a good start for you in many ways as well too. Yeah, it's because the best start I could have had because getting to act with like, especially there wasn't any younger actors on it. I was just learning from all the older actors who had oh, yeah. been to the whole thing. So. It's just like a, a, a kind of a dream of sorts so far. Yeah, was it? yeah. When you were a kid, did, like, did you start out with you know, school shows or with, you know? Yeah, I did a few school, like I never got um, a very big part in them or nothing, but yeah, I was really into acting when I was younger and I wanted to be a singer, I wanted to be everything. Um, but especially I wanted to be an actress, and, but I thought that like being an actress meant you have to be on the Disney Channel and then if you're not an actor, if you're not out there by the time you're 13, like you don't have a chance. Like, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. so I kind of forgot about it then and then I just kind of went into secondary school and started, just kind of forgot about all that stuff because, I don't know, I just thought, oh, there's no point, mm. you know, it mm. was a real kind of, childish way of thinking about it. I didn't really see that you could be an actor in Ireland and do well, you know, so. And then obviously, I, when I was 14, then I got the role in Life's Breeze and it really like, it was really amazing that it had come back to me in yeah. a way, like it came back. Did it really happen though that you were walking down the street yeah. and somebody said, yeah. hey? I was out with my friends. It was the first time I was allowed into town actually. And um, <laughs> and uh, I'm like there managed to be an open casting going on like and and I just was so surprised I was like oh I'm not gonna get that but like oh, I might as well go but for it was it. a casting session as yeah. such so there was a queue of hopefuls there as well yeah, yeah. your age yeah yeah um like to kind of make it like that and to actually kind of do well you must have nerves of steel so in some way must you do you have a bit of strength like that in you that well, you would get faced I'm yeah, well, I guess I was I was so young that I was kind of like, well, I'm not going to try too hard. If I get it, I will. Like, I, but I'd kind of really thought in my head, oh, I'm not even going to get this, and it's a bit stupid. Like, and then I got it, and I just realised how amazing it was when I went into doing it. I was like, oh my god, I can't even understand how this is happening. <laughs> and was it, I mean, you know, there were others there that day, but there was a mm. follow up, obviously, with you. Did yeah. they say, we'll take your details and we'll get back to you? Yeah, and then How I soon went after? That day, no, it was just on the street. Um, it was just, she was calling out, just, just girls on the street, um, getting them to say their name into a camera and stuff. And, and then I was called into an audition with a group of girls. And it was kind of straightforward. They just kind of, it wasn't too intimidating or nothing, but I was a bit, nervous because all the other girls seemed really like prepared and everything like they were like and I was kind of it was like they asked us to say something that like tell a story of the scariest thing that's happened to you and the and the best thing that's happened to you and I remember I said something just kind of really sim really simple and stuff and all these girls had these stories and everything because I was kind of bad at thinking on the spot at the time so I was like oh well I don't know how that went but I don't really mind, like, I, I just wasn't too, like, in, I, I just kind of thought in my head, oh, I probably won't get this anyway, but, like, I went for it, like. Yeah, but, I know. mean, the fact that you weren't phased by yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Meant that you were more relaxed about it. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I know people who are starting out as actors, and I don't know if they'll succeed or not, but they're so anxious about it. There's one particular girl, probably a bit, a bit older than you, maybe, a year or two, but she needs to kind of get to be an actor at some stage really desperately. Mm -hmm. And I think she's putting too much energy into the search. Mm -hmm. It'll kind of happen. Yeah, I think it kind of comes to you and yeah. you can go to as many auditions as you like. But I believe that whatever, if there's a role out there that's right for you and you're right for the part that you will get it kind of in a yeah. way. Yeah. When you were working on the film and your dreams had come true in that sense. Mm. Did you have to pinch yourself and say, hey, I'm 14, I'm in a film? Yeah, it kind of happened kind of halfway through filming when um, I, I couldn't even really tell any friends that I had. I, I didn't really want to tell anyone that Did I had even not? gotten the role because I didn't think anyone believe, would believe me. And then when I told friends that I got a lead role in a film, um, I remember they were all telling me, no way, like, I don't believe that. Like, after, like, just didn't believe it because it just doesn't happen, really. Like, it really doesn't. And, like, they were like, oh, you didn't even act. That's so, that's such a lie, you know, that way. So, 
it was really funny. And then I, I started really realizing, wow, this is really a big deal. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah, your mum is with you today. She's yeah. here <laughs> looking on. Um, are your family proud of the fact that you've done this? Oh, they're so proud. They? It's really nice. They, um, and everything they do, they make, like, when it comes out, like, they make such a big deal over it. And we all sit down and watch it many times. <laughs> it's really nice. They're, they're always, like, and my aunts and, un and uncles and all, they're really, um, they, like, tell me that it's, like, amazing, like, what I'm doing. Well, do you too. know, it has to come from somewhere, Kelly. Yeah. Where does it come from, do you think? I think my mum and dad, like, they come from, like, a musical kind of background. Yeah. Like, my dad's a drummer and my mum was a singer and bands and stuff like that and my my nanny and granddad were in the shows um back in the day they went they traveled like the country um doing shows like act, act, kind of acting and dancing and stuff like that so it, it must come from there kind it's of in thing. the blood yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'd say so <laughs> well when you think about it in terms of the the film work like it's it's different going in front of a camera mm -hmm. and relating to that camera as if it was a person yeah you have to relax into it Obviously, you do it naturally. Yeah, I suppose you kind of just have to... Well, number one, the first thing I learned is you never look in the camera, the camera's not there kind of thing. So it's just yes. kind of pretending the camera's not there and you're in the room, you're in the, in the scene, kind of, you're, this is happening. You know, like, whatever conversation or whatever's going on in the scene, that's the scene, that's what's happening, and the camera doesn't matter. Like, the camera shouldn't be there. Sure. Because if you're telling the story, there's, yeah. if it's real life, and if it's like a real story and a real tale, there's, no, there's not supposed to be a camera there. No, so you just no. kind of try to forget about it, even though when it's right here. Do yeah. you, <laughs> having done that though, and kind of gotten through napping phase in the audition level, mm -hmm. getting the gig, then the confidence to do it comes, I think, as well from the people you're working with, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like um, I just was watching like Fanula Flanagan and Pat Short and the other actors and they were all like much older than me and they really knew what they were doing and everything and I drew a lot of like um I drew a lot of like kind of I learned a lot from watching them because they were so focused and like just watching them being really like getting into the into the scene and all that so that really helped like mm. yeah <laughs> but the, it, it, when you think about Fanula Flanagan right I've mm. seen her on telly since I was a kid right yeah and she's a good age now, we shan't mention what her age is, but basically she's been around doing stuff, mm -hmm. both here in America, around mm -hmm. the world. Then Pat Short would have had a, a, a long career as well, and then a meteoric rise in the past, whatever, I guess, five years, six yeah. years, or whatever. That was great, though, to have them there as a kind of a support. Yeah, and also because they knew I was so young, they kind of made it a little more comfortable for me and everything. They knew, like, I was not... It not used to doing this and everything, so I don't know. They made it really, and um, mm. I wasn't. It wasn't like intimidating, like in a way. It was. It was like they made it seem normal in a sense, kind of. Where was the shot? Where, where, where? It was shot all around Dublin, um, uh, like Bray, and um, and then in Sweden. We went to Sweden for two weeks to film in the sound stages. Um, yeah, so that was great. Just to kind of recap, though, there you are. You're 14. You're in a feature film. You have a lead. When you walk onto the set the first day, and you see all the people, the lights, mm -hmm. the mobiles, whatever it is, mm -hmm. the whole lot. Did that phase you in any way? Did your heart stop? Yeah. Well, the <laughs> first day we, the first day we filmed was Halloween night, and the whole night we were just in this mic, tiny micro car, um, with one guy in the boot, like just a, just Lance, and then a few of the crew and me. Um, it was like filming. Uh, scenes out the window of all the bonfires and everything and the whole night it was um it was just like one lad in the boot one the camera here like and in this tiny car it was so funny and that should have been like really like whoa, whoa. like but I kind of understood that this is how it is this is like it was new of course but it was like oh so this is what it's like kind of thing and then I started to kind of realize how how filming a film is never like it's never what you think it's it's really like it's never glamorous or nothing. It's really kind yeah. of funny. And actually, I got hit in the head by the camera that night. So that was a good start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it a was good, so small. A good clatter to remind you. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, as time goes on, you're going to do more work. And people have talked about you as being, you know, the, the new young thing on the scene. <laughs> Love, hate followed. Didn't mm -hmm. a bit yeah. of work on that. Yeah. How did that come about? 
Um, I was actually, I can tell a really crazy story. My mum, um, like I hadn't gotten something since Life's a Breeze and I got, um, and what we, we were still really in contact with like the people in the factory and, um, and Lance of course and all that. And I think um, Maureen Hughes, the casting director, um, oh no, hang on, I'll go back a bit. <laughs> One day, ran, like, um, my mum said she had a dream that I was in low pay and she came into me and I was like, that's crazy, what are you talking about? That's mad, that's not gonna happen. Like, and then like about a week later, we got a call from Maureen Hughes casting asking me to come in and audition for Love Hate and I was like what? Don't believe this. And I no. went in and yeah no it was, it was like I can't believe this and Love Hate was one of my favourite shows and I just was like this is a, a dream like a literal dream <laughs> so it was really funny. Yeah that was it was really great yeah. What about we, we talked a little bit earlier on before the interview about stage work mm -hmm. it would be a very different thing for you now wouldn't mm -hmm. it? I mean the focus that's there when you when you film it's a camera basically yeah. and it's not a performance live so you're not getting yeah. feedback from people in an audience you know yeah but would you like to do stage work i think i would like to someday i think it's something that i'd really have to i think i think stage work would be something i'd like to even do a bit of a class in or something like that to kind of it's because it's so different to screen acting it's re it's a really like it's an entire performance. You yeah, know, it's a like, continuity, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so it, it would be a little bit more nerve-wracking, I suppose, but it would be like I'd just, I'd learn a bit more about it before I'd jump into it kind mm. of thing, yeah. So in terms of what's coming up, um, people make films, say, three years ago, and then other things happen. Mm -hmm. So since you made Life's a Breeze and Love, Hate, are there things on the boil for you in other areas in yeah. film? I, um, I filmed a RT four part drama called Clean Break and that will be coming out sometime later this year, I think. Um, and that was really interesting because it's, yeah, it was really What did you play? Um, I played a girl. I don't know if I can, how much I can say. I don't know how much is out there. Yeah, yeah, don't it. give me the plot. Yeah, yeah I played um, the daughter of um, a guy. He gets into kind of risky business and then it's about I'm, I kind of get strung into it and then it's all this kind of danger yeah it's really that's cool yeah interesting and then I did um, Sing Street um, directed by John Carney and that'll be out sometime <laughs> I don't know when he'll and be here tomorrow anyway we can yeah, talk to him yeah. about that yeah. and then I also got a, a lovely lead part in a short film called Battle and it's really like it's a really nice story about um, a teenager, she struggles with depression and then she finds strength through music and I get to sing in it and that was really cool. Brilliant. Yeah. Do you like singing? <laughs> yeah, I love singing. I've always like, kind of been, um, when I was younger, that was one of my little dreams, like I wanted to be a singer. I like to sing, I like to sing all the time. <laughs> I just sing all the time. But um, I never thought I'd do it kind of in a professional kind of sense, but uh, yeah, yeah no, I love to sing. So that was great to be able to put that into my acting as well. Are you ready for fame? You know what I mean? People <laughs> saying, hi Kelly, would you sign this for me please? You know, can I have a shot here? I know, like it kind of, in a way it can come with the territory, like in, in a bit, but like it's not what I'm kind of like looking for in a way, like, but if, uh, it's great to, for people to acknowledge like your work and to recognise you for doing something that you really enjoy. And so, yeah, yeah, I don't know, I'm not particularly, anticipating it <laughs> but yeah but if it it's happens great. it happens yeah, yeah. no it's, it's really nice for people to um yeah like like to get appreciated for what you do but to a certain okay. point <laughs> well i wish you the best but one of my final <laughs> question would be if you weren't doing this mm -hmm. what was your ambition to do you know we all have our little um, dreams of things we want I to do i wanted to be a gymnast i wanted to be a dancer uh, um i do gymnastics and i do um i, I do aerial hoop which is circus circus um, arts and stuff like that so I'd say I'd do something like that but I really wanted to be a director one day I want to learn how to be a director and a writer and make my own films maybe well we wish you the best yeah Kelly thank, you. thank you so much for coming <laughs> thanks so us. much for having the chat <laughs>